Let's go over world records and highlight some of the amazing achievements that Clash of Clans players have been able to accomplish. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. Me and my subscribers set a world record recently of 400 war attacks at the same time, but it got me thinking about world records in Clash of Clans. So let's take a look at some of the players and clans that have incredible achievements within the game. Unfortunately, some of them don't play anymore, but it does not take away from their achievements. This is Brandon. Not my good friend Clash Bashing, as the name might suggest, but Brandon was a bit of a celebrity in Clash of Clans a few years ago. Let me know if you remember Brandon actually in the comments. He had his own YouTube channel, but he was the first player to achieve level 300 experience and then 350. And he did this in 2015 and 2016 respectively. So players have caught up to him over time, but he was way ahead of the game. Before I explain how he did it though, because I think it's a better achievement in itself, I am only level 221, and I have played the game for years. You can check your experience level, it doesn't really mean anything, but the fact that he achieved level 300 six years ago is pretty incredible. Friend in need, this is your troop donations measured in clan castle capacity. 9.3 million. Wow. I actually had no idea how many I had donated until I looked at my profile just over a quarter of a million. What? That means he has over 30 times the amount of donations that I do. And I thought I donated quite a lot. Maybe not compared to some people, obviously. And this was before the one gem boost. He hasn't played in years. So he had to manually cook up every single one of those troops. Maybe he gemmed some of them. But wow, that is a pretty epic achievement. And it's not surprising that he was the first player to hit 5 million donations. I will feature a clan's world record next, then go back to a player, try and rotate it like that, but Brandon does have a couple of other records. He was the first player to destroy 10,000 town halls, which he achieved in 2013, then up that number to 50,000 town halls in 2014, and he was also the first player to win 50 thousand multiplayer battles which he achieved in 2013. The very first clan in Clash of Clans was The Order. Here they are, they are still active. Land Gamer, the leader, I'd love to join them for a little bit actually, show you some of their attacks. Doesn't look like they're too active in Wars, Wars 1, 45 unless they're just not that good at it, but it looks like they do not really participate in wars. Maybe the Clan War League they do participate in. They are in Crystal 2, but it looks like they are a relatively active clan, obviously enjoying the game, and they definitely deserve a little bit of attention here. Being the very first clan created, it's a record that can never be beaten. But here is a record that could be beaten, held by Bangkok B at war. They are in Champion League 1 for the Clan War Leagues, but I believe they have retired. However, they have a war win streak of 518. I'm not sure when this was actually set because the war algorithm has been adjusted as time has gone on, but nevertheless, this is pretty much three years of non-stop winning. A great achievement and one that is going to be tough to beat, but not impossible. Here is a pretty cool achievement, the most Legend League trophies. I personally farm in Titan League, so I am nowhere near this, but the Great Fontini has nearly 60,000 Legend trophies and seemingly nearly the same amount on a second account. Now, given that you tend to get 
1 to 2,000 at best if you're at the top per season. It did used to be a little bit different before Operation Blue Skies when the new Legend League system was added to the game, but still, this amount of Legend trophies is incredible. Now, all of the records I am showing you are from the Clash of Clans wiki page, and I will have that linked in the description. Whilst I can't show you specific stats in-game for this one, the Request and Go Clan there are a lot of request and go clans, people set them up to help other players, whereby you can join and request specific troops, but this particular clan has the record of the most donations in a given season. Now think back to what we were talking about with Brandon and with my profile, just to put things in perspective, 11,356,408 troop donations in a single season. That is an astronomical number and a fantastic record. Pelican Takos was the lowest level player to make it into Titan League. Now, much like Brandon, he had a YouTube channel as well, and I wanted to feature Pelican Takos because even though he has upgraded his town hall, his experience level has increased. He was experience level 20 and a Town Hall 2 when he made it to Titans League. You did have to sit in the clouds for a long time back then, particularly because the multiplayer algorithm matches you with players of your own Town Hall level, but it was a bit of a grind for him to get there, and definitely one that deserves to be on this list. But there was someone that took it one step further. I am not going to pretend like I know how to pronounce this name, but the lowest level player, experience level 30, who has made it to Legend League. Now there are multiple records, particularly for trophy pushing for individual town hall levels. Maybe that's something I will bring in a separate video, trophy records specifically. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. Subscribe, because if there is enough request, I will bring that, but you will get to see my educational but entertaining content either way. I'd also recommend turning on the notification bell. Back to this player though check out the heroes troops and spells specifically the levels extremely low level that's why this player is experience level 30 not a lot is upgraded looks like they made it to legends with yes the hero abilities maybe a barge attack level six balloons as well flipping back to the other side of things i mentioned earlier that players had caught up and surpassed brandon's experience level record the highest ever is held by Blue Echo at 500. That is more than twice my experience level, and every time you level up, it requires more experience than the last. Level 500, wow. Now I believe there are a few people on level 500, such as Net, and Net has actually beaten one of the other records set by Brandon in terms of troop donations. 35 million. What? How do you donate that many troops? Even with the one gem donation boost, 35 million. <laughs> this is how request and go if you need troops. Knock yourself out. Wow, this is incredible. Looks like they have a YouTube channel there as well. Be sure to check that out. Net with 604,000 donations. Look at this. Wow! You know what, guys? I was thinking as part of this episode, I became hungry a little bit for world records. Maybe I could find something that we could set together again. Maybe I'll get in touch with the guys here at Request and Go. Maybe there is a way that me and you, my subscribers, can join in here, help them out, and set records. We'll see. Pretty awesome, though. I've had my fair share of three stars in Clan Wars, I will let you know, and I am closing in on 2,000. I actually didn't realize I was that close to 2,000. Maybe that's a separate video we have to do to celebrate, but who is the record holder for the most stars? I'm pretty sure this is the world record holder. It's very close based on different town hall levels, but 7,480 war stars. How do you have nearly four times the amount of war stars to me? I have played Clash non-stop since Clan Wars were released. I haven't taken a break. 
I get it, different town hall levels matched differently, but still, this is quite an achievement. A lot of war stars, but there is definitely an honorable mention for the Town Hall 13 with the most stars. 6,500, what an achievement. It is harder the higher up the Town Hall levels you go. Granted, I don't know whether these players are actually attacking the same Town Hall level. I'd like to think they're not just dropping to number 50 on the war map, even if they're number one. Alvin is the world record holder for the most Dark Elixir farmed. We all want the precious resource. How much has the world record holder farmed? He's currently clanless, although he does have the Champion King skin and the Winter Champion, so presumably still plays. But if we take a look at the profile, Heroic Heist, 180 million Dark Elixir. Just to put this into perspective, I did a calculation and worked out how much it takes to fully max out your Barbarian King, Archer Queen and Royal Champion, Grand Warden obviously takes Elixir, and it is 25 million Dark Elixir. Pretty much 10 for the King and Queen and 5 for the Royal Champion. So he could max out his heroes what is that? Seven times over. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do want to see our world record where we did 400 attacks at the same time, I have that video linked here alongside the subscribe button. Let me know if you want to see more like this and you take care, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.